Hello everyone, we are back, welcome back. Uh, I have managed to find the elusive man, Andrew Judson from Spec Mod Models. How are we going? Uh, really good mate, how are you? Oh, awesome, awesome. awesome. So um, we're going to have a chat with Andrew. Uh, Andrew is another one of our um, Australian vendors and, um, and Jado, he covers, uh, although he covers some fantasy stuff as well and has been um, increasing his fantasy range, uh, also does a ton of historical stuff. Yeah, that's uh, correct. And, and pretty much services a large um, part of the country on historicals, mate. So yep. um, we're going to let Andrew have a bit of a chat about, about what he enjoys about painting, and then we're going to have a bit of a chat about spec mod um, and what that offers, and then uh, we'll wrap that up and then soon get ready for the um, the, the judging stream. So pleasure to have you, mate. No, thank you. Um, I think uh, where we'll start is how we met. Uh, so I was uh, I was attending um, what's known as the, the Melbourne... Uh, Model Hobby Expo. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, that's something that you frequent? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been attending that for quite a long time, even before I had my own setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and not only that, but you sort of travel to all of the, the model expos. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Um, and you, you had a, a stand there with a ton of wonderful models and we got to chatting and, and had a good chat and it was really lovely to meet you. Um, and we um, we shared a bit of a passion for historicals. Which yeah, really exactly. Cool. Um, so yeah, well, where did that start for you, mate? Um, pretty much it started, I, I originally used to do armoured modelling, yep. so scale military vehicles yep. and whatnot. And after a while it became a bit stagnant yep. and I thought, how am I going to, for myself, make these more fun yep. so then I started adding figures or a human element to them mm -hmm. mainly to show scale of a human to that vehicle yeah because you can put a plastic model kit on a table and it just looks like a model tank mm -hmm. as soon as you put a human in it then people go oh that's a big vehicle yeah, like, yeah, I didn't yeah. realize how big it was yeah. Yeah, yeah and then from there I sort of met a few people that did um, military busts yep, yep. so Back then, Verlinden was a brand, yep. and that was the go-to brand. The premier brand. So, I've never heard of that brand. I have to um, look it up. Yeah, they're, they're old. They're gone now. Yeah. He, he, he's moved on. Yeah. And um, I started painting those, and I had no idea at all what I was doing. Yeah. And I tried the techniques that he used to put in his books. He used to do his little step-by-step -step books. Yeah. Went nowhere. So I just started playing with colours myself using Humbrol paints. Yeah. yeah. You know, before acrylics and all these cool brands that are out there now. Yeah. And then I just started developing all my own styles, but mainly all World War Two, World War Two. Yeah. And then as I went, I started progressing from that to bigger and better brands because mm -hmm. I wanted more detail. Yeah. And then just just went from there. And then basically where I'm at now, doing a bit of fantasy and a lot of historicals, medieval mm -hmm. and whatever grabs my fancy, pretty yeah. much. Um, all just stemmed from that and just discovering all these groups and different brands mm -hmm. and learning from them mm -hmm. and here I am now doing now. it and, and also selling the stuff yeah yeah but yeah. the fantasy genre that's only very new for me that is very new it's for very new for me yeah. and I'm loving it. Yeah, um, I think we've played a part in sort of like oh, pulling time. you over. You oh, know, you we did. hooked a big fish on the fantasy think, reel, didn't we? <laughs> I think uh, the Brisbane Hobby Expo. Yeah, that's where you went. Got him. Yeah, yeah. And, so and, we and uh, you dragged me. So in. we've spoken about the, the QMAG event a little bit on stream. Uh, that was uh, three months back in August, and um, uh, Andrew was there with a, with a big spec mod stand, and um, it was lovely, lovely to catch up with him. He was incredibly um, awesome at embracing us and bringing us in. Um, Often, like the historical culture, like everyone sort of knows each other and has known each other. Yeah, for a that's while. right. A ton of a ton, a ton of people have served in the military in that in that community as well. Uh, I noticed that even just on the medals, we're all named after you know sponsored by you know uh, regiments and, and yeah, and that's right. People, um, and so you know, as a bunch of you know snot-nosed kids coming in there effectively, because let's be honest, the crowd's a little bit older at, at the historical. They they yeah. are. We're, we're an old we're an old crew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the snot-nosed kids came in with all their fantasy stuff, and you just really embraced. So thank you for that. Um, I for me for me it's it's just pushing your limits. Yeah. And and not only that for me it's like I still love doing the military. Yeah. And but after a while when you just do World War Two World War Two yeah. Vietnam 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 etc. Yeah. A fantasy piece is a nice fresh. Yeah yeah. Piece. Often often and known as a palate cleanser. It is. Yeah. And and also you don't have that. Um, 
you don't have to be accurate. Yeah, you don't have that fear. Of, there's no restrictions. Yeah, I can I can paint a, a fantasy piece that everyone may paint the same. Yeah, but I'm like a nah, I'm I'm doing a completely different take on the way I do it. Yeah, which I think you gave me some wonderful advice um, when we were up up in in I took a gall. You know, it's here actually. The yes, gall and I took, which I really uh, love that piece. Which which I, I really enjoyed doing the gall. It was probably like my fourth or fifth historical that I'd done, um, and there was some slight inaccuracies in, in the shear. For example, I had painted it as a metal surface and should have been a wooden surface. And although I, I thought I would have been okay with that creative license, you were like, it's awesome, it looks sick, but they're going to pin you for it. Like, the judges will be looking at stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, that was some, some advice that I put in the pocket, banked and went, you know, next next circuit for when we do all the um, the model expos, that's somewhere that I'll be looking to really... Yeah, and um, it's like, it was like the um, conversation we had about... Um, non-metallics to true metallics yeah yeah and i said like and and even though non-metallics is now starting to drift into the historicals yeah your real diehard historical guys are always going to go towards true, true. true metallics yeah I, I and think you can still get some really kick-ass yeah, absolutely i think effects. i think it's the conversation as old as time in miniature painting is like yeah. particularly on historics is like true metal versus non-metal in the end it's got to be about what you enjoy painting the most it, at, at, at the end of the day, the of the it's day. your hobby. Exactly right. You do it how you want to do indeed, it. Indeed. But if you're going to want to put that piece onto the table, yeah. hoping to get something, yeah. if you're going to go into that genre where it's a real sticklers yeah. genre, yeah. Yeah. like say the historical. Play the game that's laid out in front of you. Play yeah. the game and, yeah. and do it the way they like it if yeah. you really want to yeah. have a chance at do well. yeah. doing well. Yeah. But I think now there is a lot more artists that are doing historical pieces yeah. that are bringing that non-metallic in and it's, yeah, I, they're Dimilo doing Cartage's a really good job. Piece at, uh, at the World Model Expo was absolutely astounding. Yeah, and he's only just starting to get into the non-metallics because yeah. if you look at his old work, it was all true metallic. Yeah. I, I, I'm you no got, expert on Danilo. And then so you've I'm also <laughs> got Sergi over in the Ukraine yeah, 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 who's yeah, yeah, like yeah. ranked number one on uh, Putty and Paint. Yeah, yeah. If you look at his work, it's all still true metallics. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of it in there. Yeah, I, I don't I think, think I've ever seen him do yeah. non-metallic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I definitely know that between you and I, we're never going to crack the code on which one's the right way to go, right? <laughs> each, each has its strengths each has its and strength. each has its weaknesses. weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. I love the true, the I love the non-metallic metallic. Yeah. And and I really would like to give it a crack, but my yeah. my brain's just. Yeah. blows up when I try to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't. For me, a long time I don't as get well. it. Uh, Awesome. So you know you've been painting a lot more fantasy stuff now. You you, you have a pretty high turnover rate. Yeah, really you you produce a, a, a bust a week, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. but it, that kind of helps that yeah. I don't really work. Yeah, yeah. Um, and well, and that's because you, you were in the military and, and uh, yeah, yeah so the, the injuries the yeah. injuries didn't help. Yeah. and everything and yeah. and and then you know I had to have something to keep me focused. Yes. And, and luckily this hobby really keeps me focused and... Yeah, a conversation I've had with, with, with so many ex-military, you know, men and women is, you know, a hobby like ours is, is exceptional yeah. for, for that and Look, really giving you something to sink yourself into. What I'm going through is nothing compared to yeah. other guys, especially guys that actually went overseas into active yeah. service. I never did that. Yeah. I just had a bad accident yeah. and it messed with me and, yeah. and created problems. Yeah. So I'm lucky, yeah, and yeah. I can't complain, and I can yeah. do this hobby, and, and I'm yeah. able. And not everyone is as fortunate as that. No, but that's the that's the, the awesome thing about about the hobby is you know like it's it's, it's a great way to channel that sort of that sort of. Energy well, it does. Right, so. I, I I can channel it into a positive thing, yeah. and then at the end, once it's finished, yeah. I've got a positive outcome from it as excellent, well. Excellent. That's awesome. That makes me so happy to hear that. You know? Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about crimson brush. Yeah. What do you think? Um. I'm blown away by it, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Um, I came to when it was called Crystal Dragon. Yeah. Several years ago. Yeah. Before COVID. Yeah. And um, I was blown away then because that was the first time I'd ever seen Dave Colwell's work, Trent's work, yeah, yeah. and people in, in that category. And I was just thinking, like, far out. Like, I always, used to always think within myself that I could half decently paint. Yeah. But then when I saw that, you sort of, it gives you a realism check. Well, yeah, we're, and, we're all at different points, you know, we're all at different points in, in, in our journey, our trip oh, up the exactly. mountain, you know, and and I don't, I don't take that as a bad thing. No, no. Because for me, I take it as a, an inspirational thing yeah. to 
try to push myself that little bit, a bit further. But coming here this year and seeing what's on the table, wow. wow. Like there's, you see people always saying Europe is the place to be to see the quality work. There's stuff on here it is world world standard. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's awesome that you. Hundred percent world standard um, work. I definitely know there's a, a few people um, who are who are here who are really looking forward to getting out and, and, and you know giving it a crack on the world scale and, and mixing it up with our friends overseas. Because, yeah, uh, we are so very far away. We are, uh, and we, we, we want to be. We want to be a part of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> imagine if they come. imagine if they brought one here. Like you know, you got well, these we world did. expos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, world expo here yeah. would be phenomenal. Imagine you know? if they brought something like that, that here. Where Amazing. we had a crack at being able to host it to do yeah, it, that is sick. and whatnot. So maybe be, one day, you know, one day in the future, maybe yeah. when travel's a bit better and yeah, indeed, and it's a indeed. bit easier to, to move around. Yeah, yeah but I think it's sure. still too early. But look, but, it's hopefully with with the window in into this event, and you know, this is our first proper year back. And I mean, Trent and I sort of touched on this yesterday. You know, last year we were able to do Crimson Rush, but we did it off off three or or four weeks, you know. Yeah. You know, we didn't really know the event was going to go ahead until sort of three or four weeks out from it. So we were really proud of what we were able to achieve with the time frame that we had um, and the commitment that people made to come to that event. Um, under duress, we were still under duress at that point with COVID. Um, and it was, you know, Omicron was going wild and all sorts. But, yeah. but, you know, so the fact that we could get that one over, um, we knew that if we if we, we ticked our boxes, you know, dotted our I's and crossed our T's, we could we could really shoot for a... For a a wonderful event here and you know, oh, I think I think and, yeah. between yourself and Trent and all the other organisers yeah. you've done a cracking job yeah awesome and, I and appreciate that Trent's already approached me and said next year is going to be bigger and better yeah. and yeah. he's going to have me yeah, as a trader as well and, um, and, and Stonebeard yeah, yeah. and like Jim from Stonebeard yeah. has been so welcoming to me yeah. bringing me into his yeah. um, Painters Guild yeah you know, like he could have just turned around and went, "Nah, mate, you're you've got your own company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you treading into my turf." There's enough, you know. But, the table is so big that there's enough room for everyone at it. And um, if we all work together, you know, it's an old mantra that I've used already on the stream. But a rising tide, you know, raises all boats. Yeah. Um, so if we all work on being the tide, then everyone's going up. You know? So um, that's what I I'm very passionate about. You know, in, in all aspects. Oh, and and you've shown me that even in encouraging me to enter. Yeah. Because I was very. Very, you were nervous, a little bit apprehensive, little bit apprehensive yeah. about entering, yeah. knowing the quality of work that's out there, yeah. and even just seeing it when I go to the painters guilds, because yeah. you've got a few of the guys in that group alone yeah. that you just go, whoa. Yeah, you know, there's, some, there's some killers, uh, there's some killers. Yeah. There's some real killers in there, yeah. and, and like I look at that now and I go like, okay, I can't paint to that standard. Yeah. But I can start picking their brains and yeah. learning new techniques yeah, and, for sure, for sure, and whatnot. For sure. and. And all, I, by osmosis alone, you just get better, right? Like you, you know, you surround yourself. You know, I think there's an old adage: to surround yourself. You know, be be the worst at something in the room. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. And you position yourself to learn from from really. You know, people that's who the are beauty of the whole hobby. Yeah. I don't think there is no point that you can reach where you can't go no further. No, that's very true, right? It's just another door to open somewhere else. In another direction. You know, there's always a new technique coming out that. Yeah. And and like some techniques here, they become a real big fad that everyone goes. Oh, yeah. I've got to do that now. Yeah. But there's others where you see someone do something, you go, like, oh, I can see what he's done there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's like clever. The dogs start ticking. And yeah, you're like, and then yeah, you go, oh, maybe I can so. throw that into something that I do in the future. Indeed, indeed. Now, you've, you've got something that sort of, that, that, that I've got here. So this bad boy here is, you know, I'm sure many are, are aware of this in the chat and, and on YouTube and things. This book here, FAQ2, FAQ2. Uh, by, uh, by Arnau and, uh, and, a, and a whole host of wonderful oh. contributors. Uh, too many to name, including on including one of Australia's finest, Dave Colwell. Dave is in here a whole lot. Yeah. you've been um, you've been absolutely leading the charge with getting this book into as many Australian hands as you can. I have. Um, uh, AK AK have been fantastic dealing with me. Yeah. So I try when they bring out a new publication. As soon as they bring it out, I get it in. Yeah. And I put it out there. Yeah. And I've sold 
a heap of copies of this book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it keeps going as well. You keep getting demand for I've, it, right? Yeah. Well, just this show, like people said, like, oh, have you got any more left? I heard you had some, and I'm like, yeah. sorry. So I'm sold so out. So I've already, I'm in a schoolyard. Family, I'm already getting it? a name list of people <laughs> for another order. So I mean, I, I I really enjoyed the first one. Did you enjoy Kirill's? I, yeah. I love Kirill's book. I think yeah. like he's he's like one of those leading edge figure modelers that yeah. just blew me away when yeah. I started seeing his works on um, box arts for young miniatures. Yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. his that was his big yeah. main gig with all Absolutely. the military. Historical killer, right? Like, he just is. Does some amazing stuff. And and, and he started. He's one of the ones that sort of did bring that non-metallic into the historicals oh, as well absolutely, absolutely. but just nails it because some of them you've got to look at it twice to see is it true metallic or is it yeah that's when you know you're, you're an absolute stud when it comes yeah. to when it comes he, to he just right. blows me away yeah but no faq2 the newest one uh, if you don't have this or, or haven't heard about this yet um not sure why because <laughs> it's so good um but yeah, if this is your first time seeing it, I highly, you know, recommend picking one of these up. Uh, if you're in Australia, you can get straight through SpecMod. You can find SpecMod on Facebook, but yep. soon to be, you'll have a website I am as well. having a web page developed. Yep. But in the meantime, you can easily contact me through SpecMod Models Products yep. and um, just send me a message and I can get yep. whatever's on my page yeah. out to you yeah, quickly. Indeed, and, and quickly. I think you got it to me in a couple of days, which is yeah. awesome. So, unfortunately, it was over Christmas, so I couldn't have a good look at it until after. I remember nah, you, you sent me a right. message saying, have you, have you your got wife, into it? Your, yeah. wife, your wife contacted my, me. My and wonderful wife, who's supporting us all. all. Yep. Uh, she's an absolute star behind the scenes when it comes she to, is. Uh, to she miniature is. painting. She's a passionate woman about, about people being passionate about what they like. So. That's right. Um, that's where you can find Andrew. Uh, it's been a pleasure to chat to you, my friend. My We've pleasure. Got to wrap up now. We would have gone for a little bit longer, but uh, judging is getting set up ready to go all good um again if you're looking for anything in the historical sort of front andrew's a guy in australia um faq books we've got some more coming in soon yes yep 100 percent. Awesome. whatever else they release i will be getting it. no worries i look forward to our, our time together uh across the the hobby expos in the coming year absolutely I've got some big plans for, for melbourne and, and queensland maybe even get up to is it illawarra for, for yeah illawarra for New South Wales? i may even uh, be picking your brain at some stage ah, trying no, to no problem get some ideas. indeed indeed it's been an absolute pleasure my no friend. worries Thanks thank you very much no thank you no worries all right guys uh, i'm going to shut down the stream for probably a little bit longer we're, we're just setting up so maybe half an hour and then we will be in to uh we will be dead into judging we'll bring our judges on and go from there excellent awesome i'm just waiting whenever you see me looking off screen looking confused that's just because trent's just showing me random parts of himself no nah, i'm joking <laughs> usually he's saying like this come on mate stop gabbing all right, see you all soon.